Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh See me again on another video of mine Today we are going to talk about conjunction As you can see in the monitor that the title of this video is conjunction 1 It means that there will be some parts of the conjunction that we are going to talk about Now let's figure out what we can learn in the part 1 First thing first, let's answer what a conjunction is. A conjunction is a word that connects words, phrases, and clauses in a sentence. As I mentioned on the previous slide that a conjunction connects words with words, phrases with phrases, clauses with clauses, now in this slide, I'm going to give you some examples when a conjunction connects words with words, phrases with phrases, or clause with clause. Alright guys, as you can see that there are three examples of sentences that use conjunctions to connect words with words. On the first sentence, we can see and to connect words apples and oranges. As you can see on the second sentence, there is but as a conjunction and it connects word with word weird and smart. On the third sentence, we see or as the conjunction and it also connects a word with a word well and badly. Alright, now I have three examples of using conjunctions that connect phrases with phrases. In the first sentence, we have and to connect um, a noun class with another noun class, a big house, and a plush flat. Meanwhile, on the second sentence, we have but that connects prepositional phrases on the table and on the fridge. And on the last sentence, we have OR that connects adverb phrases. They are very well and quite well. Alright guys, now you have already seen three examples of using conjunctions to connect clause with another clause. As you can see on the first sentence that the word AND is to connect a subject verb HE and IS with another subject and verb SHE and IS. In the second sentence, we have BUT to connect subject verb AND and CAN with another subject verb MAX and CANNOT. Then on the last sentence, we have a conjunction SO that connects subject verb SHE HAS COME with another subject verb I WILL LIVE. Alright, let's go on to talk about types of conjunction. Actually, there are three kinds of conjunctions. The first one is coordinating conjunctions. The second one is correlative conjunctions. And the third one is subordinating conjunctions. Since there are three types of conjunctions, I'm not going to talk about whole conjunction in one video. And that's why this video is called part one because I'm just going to focus on the first one which is coordinating conjunctions. Well, actually, coordinating conjunctions are well known with the abbreviation or the short form of fanboys. F is for for, A is an, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. Okay, let's take a look at examples of a sentence with for as a conjunction. And uh, for your information, the word for in this sentence means because. So, I don't eat meat for I am vegetarian means I don't eat meat because I am a vegetarian. 
Uh, in the second sentence, we have an as a conjunction and it connects two imperative clauses. Tidy up your room and don't forget to make your bed. Right on the third sentence, we can see nor as the conjunction and it connects two clauses. I can't be with can't may. And for your information, when we use nor, uh, as a conjunction, make sure that the clause after the word nor must be in a question form. So there must be um, auxiliary verb after the word nor, and in this sentence it is can, and then after that it is followed by a subject can may. So we do not write may can, but can may. Alright, next we have the word bad as the conjunction and it connects two clauses as well. The first one is you can invite Kate to the party and the second clause is please don't ask that friend of his. Next is we have or that also connects two clauses. You should eat more and you will be ill. Next we have the word yet as the conjunction as for your information the meaning of the word yet in this sentence means but so he is bald yes he is attractive means he is bald but he is attractive and the last sentence we have a word so as a conjunction and it also connects to clauses i was thirsty and i bought water Alright guys, as you can see uh, on the monitor that all of the coordinating conjunctions in these examples uh, connect to clauses. Alright, let's wrap up what we have learned. The words or conjunction and, nor, but, or, and yet can be sometimes used to connect words with another word, phrase with another phrase, they are not always to connect clause with another clause. Meanwhile, the conjunction for and so are always used to connect a clause with another clause. Alright? That's all I can share about conjunction and coordinating conjunction as I have promised to you that I will tell you more on the next videos. Thank you for watching. See you around and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.